Hey everybody, I'm Kelly with the Suburban Soapbox and today I'm going to show you how to make some creamy queso dip. This queso is rich and cheesy and perfect and so easy to make in just a matter of minutes. Let's get started. To make your cheesy queso, which is redundant because queso means cheese, but to make your rich and creamy queso, you're going to need just a few ingredients. And I start with olive oil, onion, jalapeno, garlic, cream cheese. This is the key ingredient to make it rich and creamy. Colby Jack cheese, you could also use a Monterey Jack or even a pepper jack cheese would be super awesome. And then queso fresco just for the topping, just for a little texture and then low-fat milk, because we're not trying to count calories here at all. I'm using low-fat milk, shave off you. And then I also like to top it with a little bit of chopped fresh tomato. You can add salt to it just to give it a little punch of flavor, and that is it. That's all you need. So to start, we're going to mince up some onion. So I like to finely dice the onion, but if you want a chunky queso, you can certainly make your onion a little bit bigger, make your onion chunks bigger. Um, you can also add a red bell pepper, that would be great, or put in some black beans to give it some texture, a little bit of protein, make it healthy <laughs> with your black beans. Really, you can modify this recipe any way you want. So, I'm going to just make my dice kind of small. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to my pan. Right now I have my pan over like medium low heat and then just swirl that around a little bit. And I like to do it in this little cast iron skillet because it's going to stay hot. So you can serve it in the skillet and then you can put it on a pot holder or something on the table and it's going to retain the heat so your cheese isn't gonna get cold right away. I can guarantee you the cheese, is, your queso is going to be gone before this pan has a chance to cool off. So we're gonna add the onion. And if you feel like your onion's on the larger side, you don't have to add the whole thing. So I think I'm just gonna add that much. And I'm just gonna use one jalapeno. And here is where you can decide how hot you want this to be. So I'm going to take my seeds out and the white inside this membrane because this is where the heat is. So if you want your queso to be super spicy, you can certainly leave all of that in. And again, with the finely diced, so once your onion starts to get a little softened, if you were going to put like red bell pepper or something in here, this is the time to do that. You wanna add it right now, like right before you would add the jalapenos. So I'm gonna give this a quick stir. And you're gonna cook the onions just until they're softened. You can add a little caramelization to them if you like. Caramelization is just when your onions start to release the sugar and the sugars start to turn brown and golden on your onions. That adds a lot of flavor to your queso too, but I just like them softened. Now we're gonna chop up two cloves of garlic. Again, you want them to be finely minced. My garlic cloves are kinda like weird and janky looking. <laughs> They're kinda weird and like skinny, so I'm gonna use three. If you have some big, beefy garlic cloves, then just use two or more if you like a lot of garlic. Your guests might not like a lot of garlic. And then just run your knife through. I'm gonna give the onions a quick stir before we add the garlic in. Give it a stir. You only need to cook the garlic for about one minute just to get that raw garlic flavor out. I'm gonna turn my heat down a little bit and then we're gonna cut the cheese. So we're gonna cut the cream cheese up into cubes. And again, this is what's gonna make your queso like ultra creamy. 
And we're gonna use eight ounces of cream cheese. So it's like a whole package. And we're gonna cut it. I like to cut it in pieces like that. Little rectangles. Just keep an eye on your onions so they don't burn. Now we're gonna stir in the milk and the salt. So you only need like a pinch of salt. Stir the onions and everything as you're pouring the milk in. Okay, a little pinch of salt. Give that a stir. Now you wanna bring it up so that the milk is simmering in there and then we'll add the cream cheese. While we're waiting for the milk to start simmering, we're going to grate your Colby Jack cheese. Now that your milk is starting to simmer and all your vegetables are softened, we're going to add the cream cheese. So you just wanna break it up into your milk mixture so that it has a chance to melt a little more quickly. If it's all in big chunks together, it's not gonna melt that fast. And then you can kind of just let it soften and then just give it a stir and you'll start to see your milk mixture starting to thicken up a little bit. If you wanna add like more punch, you can add cayenne pepper, you can add a little bit of cumin. Those are great additions to this dip as well. All right, last but not least is all of this Colby Jack cheese. I love this dip so much. It's just so easy to make like right when you have guests coming over. So you could actually get it to like this point and then pop it in the oven just on warm just to keep it nice and smooth and melty. And you do want to stir it pretty often. You don't want to just let it sit because it will burn on the bottom. Your cheese will become one with the pan and your pan will never be the same again. So make sure that you do keep stirring. Almost there. You don't even need game day for this. This is a, I had a bad week and I want to drink a bottle of wine dip. <laughs> so we're just gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit of crumbled queso fresco, which is a really salty cheese. It's like a Mexican feta. So it gets like crumbly and awesome like that. Add some tomatoes on the top. I just like to slice up a few, not so much for flavor, but more for a garnish. We'll slice up some jalapenos, also for color. These jalapenos are like prehistoric, they're gigantic. And not everybody loves cilantro, but I do. So I'm gonna put a little bit of chopped cilantro on top. Just sprinkle a little bit of that on top. Oh boy, looks amazing. And then we're just gonna sprinkle our cheese, the queso fresco, right on top. And that is it. Now I'm gonna take a bite. I have to find some chips. There we go, that's a good bite. Mm. That is so perfect and cheesy, but like creamy, cheesy, not like overly salty. It's simply amazing in every sense of the word. Not too much jalapeno and the perfect bite of onion with a hint of garlic, so good. I hope you love this as much as I do. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.